On this episode of I Do, we talk diamonds, desserts, dresses, and so much more. Let's get the party started. Welcome to I Do, the ultimate wedding show. I'm your host, Chelsea Cardwell. Today on the show, we are at Norfolk Botanical Garden. With over 175 acres and more than 60 gardens, it is absolutely stunning and a perfect place to have your wedding. I'm with Jessica Hintz, the wedding director at the garden. Thank you so much for having us. Oh, welcome. Thank you for joining us today. It's absolutely gorgeous here. It is. It seems like a really hard job to have to be here every single day. No, oh, it's difficult, <laughs> but I make it in, yes. Oh, wonderful. <laughs> What's one of your favorite parts of working here? My favorite part of working here are all of the different people that I get to meet. Um, as wedding director, we have so many clients from um, not only Hampton Roads area, but up and down the East Coast. We're a garden for everyone, and that's really the yeah. pleasure of working here is meeting all the people. So how many different locations do you have for wedding venues? So we have 13 dedicated locations for our wedding packages. Each of our wedding packages comes with um, a number of choices for your garden ceremony location, your cocktail location, which can be indoors or outdoors, and a reception location, which can also be indoors or outdoors. The most popular um, and most requested wedding venue is Renaissance Court. Renaissance Court. Yes. Yes, it's a tiered Italian style garden. It's absolutely stunning. It's green all year round. It's a beautiful backdrop for gorgeous. weddings and photographs. We have, um, I believe, the largest rose garden on the East Coast. It is absolutely wow. stunning. And when you walk through the scent of roses, just kind of pulls you yeah. in. It's one of our um, most popular wedding sites. I'm sure that weather comes up a lot. Yes. Is that one of the main questions that brides have? So if it rains, there are a couple options. Um, the bride and groom always um, get to make the choice of where they want to move the um, reception and possibly cocktail hour if it's an outdoor space. Oh, great. And That's we're great. ready. Um, we're always ready for any logistical change that needs to be made. And if I wanted to book a wedding, how, how common is it to give you a call and to say, okay, I want to come? <laughs> oh, very common. Um, we probably get two to three hundred inquiries every month. What is a normal recommended time to make sure that I get my favorite spot? So typically, if you know that you want to get married at the garden, we definitely would have you come in and we would do a tour. We would go over all of the logistical options with you. And we recommend booking six to nine months in advance, if you have, especially if you're tied to a very specific date. We can do everything from a simple elopement from three to 15 people up to um, a wonderful outdoor tented reception for 400. So why do you find that brides choose to come and pick the Norfolk Botanical Garden for their venue? Well, it kind of speaks for itself. The garden is absolutely beautiful. It makes for a phenomenal backdrop for your wedding. Most of our clients do not need to bring any additional decor in for their ceremonies because nature provides it here for them. Jessica, thank you so much for having us. It is absolutely beautiful here. Oh, my pleasure. And speaking of beauty, the four C's of diamonds, cut, clarity, color, and carrot. But what is most important? Our friends at Goodman & Sons are gonna help us decide. Two diamonds are never gonna be the same. The four C's of diamond buying, you know, Color, cut, clarity, and carrot weight. We've heard it before, but what do they mean? You know, color is gonna be a scale from D to Z, and it's going to measure how present uh, nitrogen is in that diamond. It's gonna produce a yellow hue, so DEF is gonna be colorless. G-E-H-I-J even is gonna be near colorless. Then you talk about carrot weight, that's the one most people understand. They think it means size, but really what it's referring to is the actual weight, the specific gravity of that diamond. One carat, a three quarter carat, a half a carat, and that can be arranged. And then you talk about clarity. Clarity is misunderstood too, but it's, it's referring to the birthmarks or the natural uh, inclusions in that diamond and how visible they are. Cut is the most important factor in the cost and value of the diamond absolute most important. Why is that? Every single diamond has a specific or ideal proportion, right? And it's when you cut the diamond to that ideal proportion that you unleash the maximum beauty. Here at Goodman & Sons, we pride ourselves on picking brands that really speak to cut. And you'll hear the word ideal thrown around a lot, but that can mean a lot of things. There are two institutions that most people are familiar with, GIA and AGS. 
When it comes to cut, AGS is more known for its strict regiment of, of grading primarily on cut. Well, the diamonds we have specifically, I'm speaking to our Forevermark Black Label, takes it a step further. Forevermark diamonds are really near and dear to my heart. I love what they stand for, and I think they really speak to this generation. Uh, this generation is concerned about the environment. When they mine these diamonds, they're concerned about the biodiversity of the communities that they're in. Uh, they go in oftentimes making partnerships with the government so they make sure that the resources that are there are being distributed equally. That strengthens the communities that they were in and it leaves a positive footprint on the processes there. We're here to mine diamonds, but we're also here to make your life better. It's great to know that I have a product that hasn't harmed anyone. It's better to know that I have a product that has actually done some good. The tolerance for error is immeasurable. It's, it's, they're so perfect that your eye is going to catch the symmetry. It's because the diamond has been perfected in its cut. It has the ideal shape. It has the ideal proportion. You want something that's beyond excellent. Is that possible? Absolutely, it's possible. Absolutely, it's possible. Things get better and better with age. Much like your, your relationship, you want to pick a diamond that has been well-crafted. When you come to Goodman & Sons, number one, you're walking into a family-owned business that has been in business over 70 years. I have spent literally hours with customers just explaining to them the four C's, just explaining to them the process so they understand the, what we're going to do. Our interest is making sure you make the best decision possible. It does me no good if you buy a great ring from me and then never come back. I want to be your family jeweler for generations to come. Wow, I had no idea there were so many facets to picking a diamond. When we come back, we're going to talk about the bedroom. Welcome back to I Do, the ultimate wedding show. Now, I'm a firm believer that every wife should have her way in the bedroom, but after what I just saw, maybe we can compromise. Check it out. I'm at the Grand Furniture Showroom and with Jackie and Steven, and you guys are visual merchandisers, yes, correct? Yes. So what does that mean? <laughs> That means that we take all the furniture and accessories mm -hmm. in the business and foo-foo it up and make it beautiful and make it more of a pleasant shopping environment for the customer. Right. When you actually get married, you combine two households, right? How in the heck do you do that in a bedroom where it's essential to have relaxation and be calm? That is probably one of the most difficult situations when it comes to merging two families or two lifestyles. Um, a lot of times the men don't want something a little more on the foo -foo feminine okay. side and women don't want something so masculine and you definitely want to keep it romantic and light and a place to relax. Right. So when you're merging two lifestyles and being eclectic, it's a key to keep one common element mm -hmm. and then blend things around that. So right. for instance, we have a seafoam green here that is you know the common element. We have two <laughs> sets here. This is a masculine set okay. that can be made more feminine with accessories and bedding and same with this set and more feminine and can be made into more masculine also with bedding and accessories. And a lot of times you don't need to spend a whole lot of money, although we would enjoy you to kind of spend <laughs> money in grand furniture, but you don't need to spend a lot of money. You can use the elements that you already have in your home mm -hmm. that helps with some of your expenses of starting out. Awesome, so can you kind of show me a little bit of what you were talking about, about merging these two beds Absolutely. to make one unique design? Absolutely. Cool. So like Steven mentioned, we have a more feminine bedroom that perhaps the lady may have introduced and it looks very, very soft and very feminine. <laughs> so we can definitely show you how by simply switching out the, the bedding, the pillows and the bedspread over to a more masculine bed that maybe the gentleman brought into the relationship, how we can blend the two and how quick and easily it can be done with just simple accessories. Oh, cool.
So that was absolutely amazing. You did that so fast. Thank you. And they they both look completely different. Thank you. <laughs> so if somebody in our audience has a question and they want to come in and have y'all design their new house for you, is that something you offer? We will be more than happy to answer any questions for any customers. We can help them start all over or how to tie in what they already have. Um, our sales associates are also great professionals and designers, so we can help out with ourselves or with the sales associates. And I've heard that you guys get new things in almost daily. Correct, yes. With the grand company, we get in things five days a week. So you truly can pick out something that's unique and not everyone in the neighborhood is going to have. Correct, exactly. Because you can pick and choose what you like to your personal taste or what will work in with your existing furniture. That's awesome. Well, thank you so much for having us. Thank you thank for you. having us. <laughs> Who knew it could be so easy to combine two tastes into one? With so many tastes out there, it can be complicated to pick one flavor of wedding cake. But at Gigi's Cupcakes, you don't have to. I am with Katrin at Gigi's Cupcakes. This place smells like heaven. Thank you. So you're the owner, correct? Yes. Awesome. So what made you decide you wanted to get a Gigi's Cupcakes? I just had been looking at franchises and nothing felt right and I walked into a Gigi's Cupcakes and everyone's just happy. It's really hard to be sad around cupcakes yeah. and I was just like, this is perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Why should a bride come in and choose cupcakes over a wedding cake? The price point is better for her, definitely. I think the opportunity to cater to all of her guests at the same time, whether right. it's someone who wants one bite of a gluten-free cupcake, they can get a mini. If it's someone who wants a giant Kentucky bourbon, right. we can do accommodate that as well. So she takes care of all her guests. Her price point is good. We take care of setup, delivery. We have stand rentals. Mm -hmm. So I think definitely our towers with a small cutting cake so she doesn't lose that moment too. It's just the right, way I to go. That. Then you can still have that wedding cake moment mm -hmm. and save it for next year as well, but you also have the variety for the rest of yeah, your absolutely. Yeah. Oh, wow, that's awesome. I love this and I would love to check out the kitchen. Sure. Could you give me a tour? Yeah, absolutely. It smells like pure joy in here. Today we're making our wedding cake. Would you like to I'm so excited. <laughs> Put on your official okay. Gigi's apron. Right over here is where we decorate the cupcakes. Very cool. Oh, they look great. So this is our wedding cake, mm -hmm. and we decorate it with our homemade uh, vanilla Ooh, bean buttercream. So and we do our signature Gigi swirl on every okay. cupcake. So we start in a up and down position. All right. Oh my gosh, you make that look so easy, <laughs> and it's not three tiers. Yes, and then okay. we <laughs> use. Uh, our non perials to decorate the wedding. All right, would you like to try some? Sure. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, okay. Start in the middle. Mm -hmm. You really? Oh wow! Started. You really have to push you it do. out. <laughs> Did you okay? I kind of added a fourth, didn't yes. I? You right. always can have some extra frosting. Absolutely. There's nothing wrong with that. Okay, that was much worse. <laughs> It takes months and months of practice. I bet it does. <laughs> it's really fun though. Yeah. Okay, so really we'll do fun. this one since it's the best. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's so much fun. You just get to play all day. Absolutely. We definitely <laughs> do. We definitely do. Thank you so much for having me. This has been amazing. I've learned so much. Biggest question of the day. Can we get to the best part now? Absolutely. Uh -oh. Take your pitch. Yes. Okay. I gotta go for this lemon shortbread. I mean, the fact that you make the shortbread yourself, it has custard on the inside, right? Yes. This is really big, guys. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> yeah, love it. Okay, I'm sorry, we're gonna have to cut because I'm gonna need to go eat all of those cupcakes. But when we get back, I'm gonna try and fit myself in a dress. bride deserves a gown that is uniquely you, but there are so many styles out there. How do you find a gown that matches your body type? The bridal stylists at Studio Ardu are here to guide us to our perfect gown.
Studio I Do has the largest selection of dresses in all of Virginia, and we can accommodate brides from size zero to 40. Every bride that walks into Studio I Do will be able to try on a gown that will fit their body while they are here. When a bride comes in, we really try and build that relationship with her and talk to her, and we spend the whole time that we're with her talking to her, getting a vision for what she wants for her wedding. So some brides are very traditional. If we have a traditional bride who wants something very clean lines or something that's gonna be very timeless, we have certain gowns that will match that style. We also have brides that come in and they want what's in right now. They want the trend, they want what's new and they're edgy and they like being on the edge of that fashion. We carry a ton of designers that will do that for them as well. So we can point them in the direction of what their vision is and their style is as we continue talking with them and hear what are your flowers gonna be and what's mom gonna wear and what are your bridesmaids dresses. And so um, a lot of that comes in just with having that conversation and building that relationship with the bride while she's here. Almost all of our brides walk into the store with some idea of what they want on their wedding day. What we recommend, especially if it's the first time trying a gown on, is that you try on something in each silhouette. So that you try on an A-line gown, or you try on a mermaid, or you try on a ball gown to figure out which dress looks best on your body. One of the amazing things about our selection is that we also have separates. So we can take a top and a bottom and piece it together and you can create your own wedding gown. And I'm telling you, nine times out of 10, a bride will leave here with a gown she never thought she would end up with. We can do custom measurements for everybody. So if it's your height, if it's, uh, we have brides that are 6'3 and they need extra length on a gown and we have brides that are 4'8 and they need it to be proportionately smaller. So we can do custom measurements for every single bride that walks in our store. We always recommend when a bride chooses her gown to get the size that she is the day that she is purchasing the gown because the reality is life happens and we all want to lose an extra five or ten pounds but sometimes it just can't happen for whatever reason so we always recommend getting the size that you are on the day that you purchase the gown. We have a list of preferred tailors that we work with and we highly recommend each and every single tailor that we would send you to. They can always take it in between one and two dress sizes and it's always easier to take in than it is to let out. They are very familiar with wedding gowns. They do wedding gowns specifically. You want a tailor that is familiar with that kind of boning and structure in a gown, tool, those kind of materials, so they are familiar with those. And we have our little bag of tricks in our fitting room, so we will get you in any dress. We can pin it, we can, we'll tie in it if we need to. We will get you in that gown. Our passion is to help brides find their perfect dress and make their vision become a reality. So we invite you to come to our new studio and meet with your stylist to find your dream wedding dress. I loved learning about how brides can have the option from a veil to a cape so you can show off your gorgeous hair. Now from something new to something old, let's see how the wedding dress transformed from what it was then to now. The Hunter House is a Victorian house museum. It was built in 1894 for James Wilson Hunter and his family, and it's located in the historic Freemason District in Norfolk. The museum puts on a variety of special programming throughout the year. Most of it is themed to something uniquely Victorian. We do a variety of afternoon teas. We also do events with the community. We do scavenger hunts. We currently have an exhibit on bridal gowns. It's called Bid Adieu to Girlish Days, Sweating Gowns of a Bygone Era, and it spans the time frame from 1890 to the 19-teens. I would say that the wedding dresses from the Victorian period, some of them are very different from today, but you can also see some of the styles reflected in the gowns that are being currently put on display at most bridal stores. This dress is from the time period between 1890 and 1900. This particular dress is not one of the silk overlay lots of beading. This particular dress is cotton, it's wool, it's practical, it's comfortable. The person who wore this dress was most likely upper middle class based on the fact that it is not very opulent and that it seems to be something that they would wear again and would be very utilitarian. The dress in the front bedroom is from a wedding that took place in 1912. 
It belonged to Frances Cooper and she married into the Baldwin family. Those two names should be familiar to anyone from Norfolk because they are local Norfolk staples. The dress is silk. We see some beading and we also see some overlay. Very typical of what you would see of a wealthy family. This dress dates to somewhere between 1900 and 1910, based on the silhouette. We see more of a column-like structure when we get into the 19-teens, and this dress definitely reflects that. We see a lot of netting, we see beads, we see beautiful silk that's in this dress. This would also be a dress that someone wealthy would wear. This dress is somewhere between the 19-teens and 1920s. It's one of the later ones that we have in the collection right now. It is also something someone wealthy would have worn, and it also contains silk and some appliques. We would love for you to come and visit us anytime at the Hunter House. We are open April through December, and we give tours very regularly Wednesday through Sunday. You can always visit our website. It's www.hunterhousemuseum.org, and we're very active on Facebook. So if you want to get the skinny on what's going on with our events, that's the best place to go. For this episode of I Do. If you have any heartwarming videos or stories of your special day, send them our way. Check us out on Facebook for any upcoming news, and if you missed any of this episode, watch us online. And join us next time on the next episode of I Do. Okay, I'm sorry, we're gonna have to cut because I need to go eat all of those cut cakes. Cut, cut cakes. <laughs> right now. that is uniquely you. But with so many styles out there, how do you pick? Luckily, it's messing with you.